Let's begin by examining the string length function. If we have a simple string control, we can access the string functions from the string sub palette on our functions menu. At the top left is the string length function. What string length does is it takes as its input a string and simply returns an integer which represents the length of the string. So if our input string had the word hello in it, the length out of the string length function is 5. Next, let's take a look at the concatenate string function. The concatenate string function looks very much like the build array function. In fact, it acts in a very much the same way, in that it can be expanded to have as many inputs as necessary, or as few. As a simple example now, let's just take string as an input, and make a second input, connect that up as well, and then take the output and create an indicator for it. If we now rearrange these controls and indicators, and we run it, of course we see the result is the concatenation of the string and the control string too. Note that the reason I have a space between the words hello and again is because I manually entered the space in the string to control. If we did not have that present when we ran this VI, we'd see hello again, just simply get combined together. The next function we want to investigate is the match pattern function. Again, from the string sub palette, here we have our match pattern. If we examine the online help, we see that it tells us that it takes in as its inputs a string, a regular expression, and an offset. And it returns as its outputs three different substrings. One before the match, one of the match, and one after the match. Let's use this as an example. Let's connect our concatenated string as the input to our match pattern. Let's choose a regular expression of we'll create a constant, and we'll hit space. This is a good opportunity to change the display mode here to slash codes display. This way we can see that we have a slash s which represents a space. Now let's create indicators for our before substring, our match substring, and our after substring. Let's also create an indicator for the offset past match. Once we rearrange our front panel a little bit so that we can see all of the indicators that we wish to see, observe the behavior now when we run. So we've asked for the match pattern function to find a space within our concatenated string and to tell us where it found it, which is the offset, and also to split that string up into three sections. Well, in this case, recall that I had removed the space from the string to control. So there is no space bar to be found. And we can see that because the offset past match is minus one. This time, I've modified my first string to add some spaces and some other words. So when we now run this VI, we see, first notice that our concatenated string says a fine hello again. And this time, the offset past the match is a 2. The best way to interpret that number is as it scanned through the concatenated string, it found a space here. And the offset past that match is 2, meaning just before the capital F. So the string before the substring is just the letter A. And notice that this does not have a space. The match is just the space. And we can confirm that by showing the slash codes. And the after substring is everything after the space which it found. So it's important to notice that it only finds the first space and then stops looking. 
the match pattern function is actually very powerful. If you enable the online help, and then proceed to the detailed help for the match pattern function, we see an explanation of how it works. A particular note is the fact that the regular expression, which is of course the pattern that it's searching for, can be defined in a very complex way. In particular, we can use special characters to refine the search. If we click on this, it shows us that there's a series of special characters which can be used. For example, the question mark, the slash, a caret, square brackets, plus, asterisk, and dollar sign. Without going into a lot of detail about how each of these works, I highly recommend reviewing this particular help documentation whenever you find the need to use the match pattern function.